Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to reset or recover your password in Windows Server 2022. If you find yourself in a situation where you either forgot the local administrator password or even the domain controller password to get into your server, this video is for you. Before we go into the tutorial, if you guys are interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, Check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. All right, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the very first thing that we have to do is we have to boot from a DVD or ISO. We're gonna be using this Windows Server 2022 VM uh, for demonstration purposes today. And I'm using Hyper-V as my virtual machine manager. Now, if you're not using a VM, simply shut down your PC and then just boot to the DVD. Uh, if you are using a VM like me, I'll quickly show you guys how I have my settings configured in order to boot into the DVD. From the DVD drive under the SCSI controller here, we have the ISO selected Windows Server 2022 ISO. Uh, and then firmware, I've just moved the DVD drive to the top. And then under security, I have disabled secure boot. So with that out of the way and the server off, I can go ahead and start it up. And as soon as I see anything on the screen, I just have to hit a key to enter, <clears throat> which will boot from the CD. Cool. All right, we'll hit next here. And then I'm gonna click down left where it says repair your computer. I'll hit troubleshoot and we're gonna go to the command prompt. Now, the first thing we have to do is identify which of the drives is the bootable one. So the easiest way to do that is gonna be to type in disk part, all one word. Next up, I'll hit list volume with a space in between. All right, cool. And the local C drive on this computer is volume one. For some reason, it's not currently assigned a letter, so I can actually do that right now. So I'm gonna hit select volume one, assign letter C, all right. The drive that we need will have the Windows and System32 folders on it. All right, so let me exit disk part, and I'll do CD backslash here and CLS to clear the screen. And we'll change to the C drive. And just to show you guys here, so you can see we have the Windows folder underneath the directory. So this looks like our correct drive. For example, if I switch to the D drive and do the same thing, we can see that the C drive is the correct drive for what we need. So I'll hit C colon. And next up, we're simply just going to change our directory. So I'll do CD Windows, CD System 32. And next up, we're gonna type in rename followed by utilman.exe, which is the accessibility program. And we're gonna follow that with any other name. It actually doesn't matter, but for now, we'll do utilman.legacy. We'll hit enter. Next up, we're gonna copy the command.exe and we're gonna call that utilman.exe. Now to ensure that this is done correctly, we're gonna do dir followed by cmd.exe. All right, and we'll check the size there and we're gonna compare this to utilman.exe and we're just gonna make sure it's the same size, which it is. Now we're gonna type a few more commands. I'm back in the D drive now, it's the boot drive. We're gonna type bcd edit forward slash set followed by boot manager and with a timeout of 15 seconds. Then next up, we're using the same command, bcd edit set boot manager and display boot menu, yes. All right, so once we've done that, we're gonna hit exit and we're actually just gonna turn off the PC. Now at this point, I'm gonna take off the boot DVD. So in settings in firmware, I can simply just move this all the way down to the lowest spot, hit apply and hit okay. You could also just remove that from the installation media underneath the SCSI controller. And of course you could do this in UFE as well, assuming you're not on a virtual machine. All right, and then we're gonna fire this back up. And at this point we should see a boot manager. All right, and there it is. All right, and as we can see, it's giving us the option here to boot into F8. And then from here we wanna use the arrow keys and go into safe mode and we'll select enter. All right, and once we're in here, we can select our accessibility window here and clicking down into the right, as we can see, we now get a command prompt. All right, and then all we have to do from here is we're gonna type in net user administrator, followed by the new password that we want. All right, I'll just put Indigo 2024 with a capital I. 
And if this is a domain controller, you'll also want to do a forward slash domain. This server has not been promoted to domain controller, so I won't be adding that. All right, so we'll hit enter. The operation was completed successfully, so now I can hit exit. And let's go ahead and try our new password to see if we can log in. That was indigo2024. And just like that, we are back inside of our server. And as you notice, we are in safe mode. All right, so from here, I'm just gonna restart and log in with the standard mode here. All right, and we'll restart anyways. All right, we're gonna connect to our display here and we should be able to use that new local password that we just set. Let's see if that works. All right, and we are successfully logged in. Resetting your password in this way is a great way to get control back over your server, assuming a hacker took it over or something other unplanned happened. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, please drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software for a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any video topic ideas that you may have. And again, a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated as it helps support the channel and make more videos like these possible. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.